At times, you may want to show more than one media at the same time. And that is why uh, uh, timeline layering is important. So if I were to go around and bring in this video clip, then it stays in uh, one timeline right here. So you can see that this is the timeline right here, and this is where the video clip is. If I were to go around and bring in another video clip, put it in the side, then what happens is that this is still in the same timeline. So you got this video clip first, and this is followed by this video clip right here. But if I want to show another video clip on the top, then what you can do is you can go around, bring in another video clip and put it on the top right here. And then you see the other video clips beneath it and this video clip on the top. Let's say, for example, if I were to go around and resize it, then I can keep the video clip right here just like this. So it kind of uh, can have an effect right here. And whatever video you have on the top is what you see on the top over here in the preview area as well. So if I were to go around and bring in this video clip on the top right here, then this is what you have. As you can see, I can resize this out and place this video clip right here, just like this. I can also go around and resize this out over here as well, just like this. So if I were to go around, bring in another video clip right here, put it on the top, then what happens is that I get another video clip right here. So I can go around and keep as many video clips as I want right here. If I were to go around and press the play button, then you'll be able to see that these video clips pop up right here, just like this. So I can go around and see that four of the videos are playing at the same time now. Similarly, you can go around and add in, um, uh, add in, let's say, logo as well as you like, and this is what you have. So now what you can also do is you can go around and add an audio layer and this is at the bottom right here just like this. So you can see that the audio is loading and I can also go around and bring in more audio clips so that they are played together as well. And that is how the timeline layering works inside of CapCut. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe. 